Hi friends, here we go. 31 chapters of Proverbs in 31 days, and we're on chapter 15 today. Here we go, 15, verse 1. A gentle answer deflects anger, but harsh words make tempers flare. Another translation says, uh, a calm answer turns away wrath. Boy, and aren't we living in a time when we need calm answers, gentle answers, without being harsh. Okay, verse 2. The tongue of the wise makes knowledge appealing, but the mouth of a fool belches out foolishness. The Lord is watching everywhere, keeping his eye on both the evil and the good. Gentle words are a tree of life. A deceitful tongue crushes the spirit. Only a fool despises a parent's discipline. Hmm. Whoever learns from correction is wise. Lord, help us to be teachable and correctable. Wow, that's so hard in any season of life. Verse 6, there is treasure in the house of the godly, but the earnings of the wicked bring trouble. The lips of the wise give good advice. The heart of a fool has none to give. The Lord detests the sacrifice of the wicked, but he delights in the prayers of the upright. The Lord detests the way of the wicked, but he loves those who pursue godliness. Whoever abandons the right path will be severely disciplined. Whoever hates correction will die. Even death and destruction hold no secrets from the Lord. How much more does he know the human heart? Ah, yes, Lord. Folks, we ought to remember, God knows us. He knows our own hearts. He knows us better than we know ourselves. and We have to trust him. Verse 12, mockers hate to be corrected, so they stay away from the wise. A glad heart makes a happy face. A broken heart crushes the spirit. A wise person is hungry for knowledge while the fool feeds on trash. For the despondent, every day brings trouble. For the happy heart, life is a continual feast. Ah, Lord, help us to step into joy, your joy, and, and maintaining a happy heart. Boy, so many little sermons here. And that is the book of Proverbs. I just have to encourage you, stay engaged with the Lord to grow in these things and let them apply to you. It's like eating good food, right? Better to have little with fear for the Lord than to have great treasures and inner turmoil. A bowl of vegetables with someone you love is better than steak with someone you hate. <laughs> wow. A hot-tempered person starts fights. A cool-tempered person stops them. A lazy person's way is blocked with briars, but the path of the upright is an open highway. Hmm. Verse 20, sensible children bring joy to their father. Foolish children despise their mother. Interesting. Verse 21, foolishness brings joy to those with no sense at all. A sensible person stays on the right path. Verse 22, plans go wrong for lack of advice. Many advisors bring success. Ah, this gets in... I have to say this. In my Bible, I wrote, this is one of Carl's favorites. To never be too old or are knowledgeable to the point you think you know a lot and you don't take advice. Seek many advisors. That brings great success. Always be teachable. And that's what the book of Proverbs is wanting us to know and learn. Yes, Lord, help us. Verse 23, everyone enjoys a fitting reply. It is wonderful to say the right thing at the right time. Yes, Lord. Verse 24, the path of life leads upward for the wise. They leave the grave behind. The Lord tears down the house of the proud, but he protects the property of widows. The Lord detests evil plans, but he delights in pure words. Greed brings grief to the whole family, but those who hate bribes will live. The heart of the godly thinks carefully before speaking. 
The mouth of the wicked overflows with evil words. Boy, this is one of my, again, personal favorites. Learned that from my elders who taught me not to be so bold to speak too quickly. Think before you speak. Hmm? Very important. Thank you, Lord. Verse 29, the Lord is far from the wicked, but he hears the prayers of the righteous. A cheerful look brings joy to the heart. Good news makes for good health. Ooh, be careful of what news you keep taking in, folks. Very important. Not just from friends, but everywhere. Social media, good news is healthy. Bad news just brings us down, right? Even if it's truth, we can't feast on darkness and sadness and bad news all the time. Verse 31, if you listen to constructive criticism, you will be at home among the wise. If you reject discipline, you only harm yourself. But if you listen to correction, you grow in understanding. Fear of the Lord teaches wisdom. Humility precedes honor. Proverbs 15.